Hello and welcome back to the Gotham Sound coverage of NAB 2024. We're here at the Reading Audio booth with Scott Bowen, Reading Audio. So, Scotty, the Sheps. Oh my gosh. For real. For real, for real. For real. It's the Sheps CMD42 digital amplifier for the Colette system. Digital. Colette system is 50 years old, if if you didn't know that. Zero. Crazy. 50 years Colette system. Fantastic. Um, So what better thing to do to kind of jump into the next generation of amplifiers for Sheps? So the important thing to know about the CMD, it's not meant to replace analog microphones Mm -hmm. like the Colette system. Not meant for that. And it's not a novelty item. It's not like, oh, we made a digital microphone. It has a real distinct express purpose Mm -hmm. for adding like a value add to production sound and sound design, Mm -hmm. being a fully digital chain from the microphone. So the biggest thing that's cool about this microphone is that it's immune to interference. Ah, wow. So the digital interference does not travel through the digital um, output of this Mm -hmm. microphone. So it uses the same accessories. So any Colette, Mm -hmm. any of the capsules, any of the uh, the accessories, pads. Singer MK4s, MK41s, GBC. Yeah, the active accessories all Mm -hmm. work with fully compatible. It works on AES-42, which is the uh, AES signal with digital phantom power. Mm -hmm. So there are gear, like I have it in 833, which has AES-42 built in. Um, Sound devices, the A20TX has AES-42 built in. Right. And uh, so does a couple Zaxcom transmitters. Right, the TRX-743. Yes. So literally you can plug directly in. You just get a cable like this. Uh Uh-huh. Brilliant. And you are digital wireless on the end of a boom. Oh, my friend Marlo uses that uh, term to say it's good. And whenever he says it's digital, it means it's like it's good, it's great. Um, So anyway. Yeah, so the the unique thing, um, you know, about the microphone besides those kind of things is you get full dynamic range. Mm -hmm. So back in the day, Sheps had, you know, you use either mode one or mode two, Mm -hmm. who was running the clock, and then that kind of changed things. So this microphone is mode one or two. So you can record the full dynamic range Mm -hmm. of the microphone. And, but of course, because it's a two-channel system, people want to monitor on set, like volume, you can, on channel one, you can have the the mon- you know, use it to monitor and use the digital gain, which it has mm. in, the, uh, in the recorder. And then the second channel could be a raw, untouched signal mm. that you would actually send to post for them to, to use. Full dynamic range. Wow. So it has an app. Is this Bluetooth or how is this connected? This app, it's, you know, you get it, it'll be the app store, whatever like that. It doesn't communicate by any RF, it's mm. dweedle tone. So if I go over and I hit this, so... Oh. So, oh. so the dweedle tone sends and it imprints the, the changes on there. So what's great about a digital microphone and what they've done, so these value add features, mm-hmm. um, is you could, of course the digital gain is important, so you can change the, the volume of the microphone. Mm-hmm. You have you sample rate, so in pure mode, you can have 192K wow. sample rate. Wow. There's padding. And then, have you ever heard of the CMC6 XT, no. which is the 40K amplifier mm-hmm. body? Mm-hmm. We have it in the digital domain, which what really makes it important there, so to get over 40K, um, it's a much better a digital filter, just is smoother, it's more linear than mm. analog. So this is a great feature for, for that. And then in full mode, we have way more kind of parameters to, uh, to mess. Digital gain, of course, and then we have low cut options, um, analog pad, so you can pad the, the microphone. And then channel configuration. So here's the default, which would be both, whatever you do goes to both channels. Mm-hmm. If you use digital gain, you can go in dual mode. So you have, you split the two, the mm-hmm. two channels of the AES. And then it has, uh, if you didn't know, Sheps actually makes a uh, plugin, mm. an upmix plugin. So I don't know if-, if No, I'm not people, familiar, tell so, me about yeah, it. So upmix is, uh, Basically, you take a mon- you, know, you have a mono recording, you extract the diffuse field information from mm-hmm. recording, and then decorrelate it into like left to right. Uh-huh. So uh-huh. kind of, it's a great tool for putting mono um, recordings into into a mix and uh-huh. having it have some some life to it. So they have because they can do it. They built it into the mic. Yeah, which is awesome. So cool. and then there's a, a stronger up mix which has more of the diffuse information mm-hmm. um, in there. The peak limiter, and then there's capsule correction. So how cool is this? You can have, 
an MK2 mm -hmm. flat Omni capsule, and you can apply a filter to it to make it a 2H or a 2S. Wow. Okay. So you really get some more flexibility. Yeah. And in the future, there'll be smart capsules. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. <laughs> and I don't, so you'll have to wait and see what, what that, that entails, but that's going to be awesome. I'm freaking out. Um, okay. So um, the question that everybody's going to want to know is when, right? Obviously, there's the, the, one here. Literally, I will have stock in about 10 to 14 days. It's wow. a real product. And do you know how much it's going to be listed? It's going to be twelve ninety five retail in the in the U.S. for the. Oh, that's not bad. Yep. That's uh, I mean, it used to be like the super cement was twice the price of a. Yeah, regular so cement. when it came out, it was like forty five hundred. Yeah. Bucks. Yeah. So, wow. Great. Yeah. Very cool. So, so again, I mean, for if you're doing um, sound design, the Sheps uses the term unparalleled or unrivaled um, ultrasonic response mm -hmm. on this. So if the people who do the pitch shifting um, and sound design, the n noise is inaudible. Yeah. And, and of course, all those guys send you pictures of if they when they find it with like the other analog amplifiers. So uh, a real important thing I, I, I forgot to mention in the beginning is that this microphone was beta tested with people from around the world, multiple people in different you know, areas of, of, uh, of recording and, and, and production like for three years, so it's the most extensive live, real beta testing that mm. Sheps has ever done, and it's produced amazing results. Everybody had awesome ideas, so thanks to the beta testers, they did an awesome job. Mm. So, you know, the app has a lot to do with all of the feedback, because you know, you come out with a new product and then you dump it out into the world and everybody finds all the problems, mm -hmm. so hopefully they found out all the, the tweaky stuff that people will you know, want to want to see. So well, and it's there's great. it's an app, so it's it easy to upgrade the app. Absolutely, right. Instead yeah, and of there, and there's to no like Bluetooth RF. It's dweedle tone. It picks the mic picks up the sound mm -hmm. and to change any of the parameters. Good to go. Great. Okay. Fantastic. So. That's very exciting. Uh, a couple of comments. Big for location audio. Digital mics are coming to stay. Is there going to be a mini CMIT version at some point? I can't confirm nor he can deny neither confirm nor deny. that there'll be any uh, he, he's such, pleading the fifth. such act activity. Mm -hmm. But uh, that would be a natural progression, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. So, you know, this kind of is going to make its way into the world, and we'll, and we'll see. But uh, they, obviously, that's the first thing people ask is, yeah. I want a digital shotgun. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, and then Henry says the smart capsule sounds super interesting. Me too. Uh, I agree. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait. Yeah. Well, I, I think if you think about um, what you can do with that, if if in the digital domain, it remembers the capsule, remembers the like frequency response of the mm -hmm. capsule. So when you have a, a you know a dual pair of mics, it remembers them, and it can you know aligns the sensitivity of the of the um, of the amplifier, mm -hmm. the whole nine. Wow. So I keep pulling away. Um, and then what is the the moisture and weather rating? Well, the capsule is the same. Uh huh. So obviously, you know the Shep's capsule is going to be no different. Um, Humidity doesn't affect the digital amplifier, mm -hmm. so it's not you know RF or or humidity. So right. that that alone again is is a huge, you know, um, thing for for that. It is not designed to go underwater. No, no. We have the no. ambient mics for that. You got hydrophones yeah. and you got VT waterproof mics. There you go. That's right. That. Um, and then uh, Christopher wants to know if it's firmware updatable. If there is something inside that needs to be oh, updated, yeah. how it it oh, can yeah. be done. Yeah. Okay. Cool, yeah. great. You know, I mean, through the beta test, we were going back and forth, mm -hmm. getting the mics, putting the new firmware on them, the whole nine. So, yeah, it's not uh, something where it's just it's this forever and, mm -hmm. and it's done. So, I haven't been given explicit, you know, instruction on how any of that's what's going to go down. But awesome. the, the, it's digital. It has to have some type of upgrade capability. Well, a long time in the making. Um, awesome. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned. We're going to hustle over to our next booth and be right back. Nice seeing you guys.